Greetings everyone once again, my name is Jared, and uh, the, the gun is, the my shotgun is currently on hold for the moment, for I haven't had a chance to ever get, retrieve it from my grandparents' house. But, I have been working, more into the woodworking stuff, and I did a little bit of, and, yeah, I made a big old fidget spinner. Only drawback is... It does rough spin, which is pretty cool. Though, however, if you could see, it is wobbling like crazy because of that. This. I need to uh, get the. Uh, I need to figure out. I need to get some new uh, belts for my belt sander because these belt sanders don't seem to cut do very well on this stuff and doesn't really like anything whatsoever and well I'm not really gonna do a tutorial anything or at all because you can get templates and 3d printing in files and whatnot to make this stuff me however I got a this is a bearing from an old ceiling fan this is the motor from it. And originally, and also to mention, there is duct tape around the entire bearing because I was originally going to use this one, but it's seen better days. The This is all wonky and whatnot, so I can't really use it and it's completely locked up. This one, on the other hand, as I've shown, still rolls. And that's a good thing. But, however, my belt press, the belt press didn't like, didn't ha I didn't have any, uh, of this, of these Ryobi, I had some of these Ryobi drill bits, and I didn't have a size big enough, so I had to use the three-quarter inch and spam and... Oh, shit. And uh, I had to uh, erratically punch holes into it. And hopefully not have ruined it. And, well, what I did, pretty simple, easier said than done. I drilled a bunch, like I said, I got some three-quarter inch, I drilled some three-quarter inch holes with the big old wide bits. I don't know what they're called, so kill, sue me if you like. And then I took this, the core, this coarse-sided file, and grinded it until I got it as straight as possible, and then oh, prayed to the woodworking gods that I got it centered. And currently, right now, I have it wrapped in about a couple about a yard of duct tape to get it to the match this thick this width of the tape and then I forced it in which actually not really forced I pressed it in to make it easier on me and currently right now I am going to ah crap wrong one okay here we go I'm gonna press get use my the C clamp right here and force it all together and that's about as easier said than done I'm gonna have to remove this material on the edge and and if I can and if it actually does spin straight I'm gonna go and either follow this design or use my brother's chisels and make the design iron as is as I did, I did a little bit of a spirally pattern. I'm not sure if I'm gonna cut this stuff out or like so like like kind of chisel it inward. I'm not really sure. I'm still thinking. But other words, this is just a little random video I decided to do because it was pretty cool. Fidget spinners were actually becoming were being becoming a thing, so I decided why the hell not. And uh, you can see many other. YouTube channels who've made fidget spinners of their own. A few to state are uh, one of them was I Build It. 
I think that's the name of one of his channels. He did a metal very metal shuriken fidget spinner and then a wooden variant, which was pretty cool. Well, and illegal if you if when if it was made in California, but I'm not questioning it. But in other words, that's all I have to say, right? That's all I got for today. I'll hopefully be able to get my shotgun ready. But you guys know anything and new viewers, like, favorite, subscribe, donut, banana, chicken, burrito. Yeah. My name's Jay. Have a great day.